Hey guys and welcome back to another episode on the Chaos Craft server. In the last episode we went down to the Sand Temple Village thingy down there with Zai and we went to go check it out and raid the temple. But guys, since that episode I've had a lot of you guys message me about something that Zai has done in her last episode. Now I know she told you guys not to tell me what was going on but you loyal team big fans out there told me what was going on and apparently she actually killed my children my wonderful children that i had around here all of my sheep she's killed them all apparently now let's go check them out because remember when we was going looking around the area when we first moved here there was a bunch of sheep and i joked around saying they were my children apparently zai killed every single one of them i don't know why she did that she is a murderer <gasps> they are oh no there's some sheep. I see one there, one there. There's one over there. We still have some children left. Yeah, there was a bit more than this, but we still have some children left. Look, one there, one there, one there. There's four. I see four, five up there. We're good. We're good. It's not too bad. Look, there's more sheep over there. There, there. There's loads. There's still loads of children left. What's she talking about? I don't know what she's... She said... She told everyone she killed them. Look, they're everywhere. My children are everywhere, guys. I've made my mark on this world. My children are absolutely everywhere. They're still there. Don't worry about it. Even though she did kill some of them, I, I can forgive her because we still have a lot left. We can make some more children. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> so we can make some more children. That sounds so wrong. But guys, in today's episode, because Zai killed all my children, aka the sheep, there's another one right here. Look, see? And another one. There's loads. Uh, because she was trying to make a little animal pen or something. And she did that on the side of our house right here, as you can see. And it's a little tiny animal pen. Nothing crazy, just basic. So as we're pretty much done every time this series, guys, we basically take what Zai's done and rebuild it to make it better. <laughs> she built the house. We built this house to make it better. She tried to build a little animal pen. So what I'm going to do is build a better animal pen at the back over here. As you can see, I've marked out the area and the foundation which we're going to work on so this is what we're going to do in today's area uh, today's episode guys is build this little animal pen and maybe transfer over the animals if we have enough time if not i'll just do that off camera look another child over there as well she didn't kill my children i don't know what she's talking about but anyway guys let's get started with building this animal pen so as you can see i've actually done a ton of markings already just so i know what the foundations and stuff are as well so in each one of these corners you can see i've got some logs i've got some uh stuff brick around there as well i'm going to build these up by six blocks so one two three four five six so each one of these do this one as well so one two three four five six so this barn or animal pen is not really a barn this animal pen is going to be pretty similar to the one i did a tutorial on but with some slight differences i didn't want to make it exactly the same we're just going to make some slight differences right there and i think these back ones are going to go up five as well so one two three four five let's do that as well um there is a ton of animals around this area which is pretty good so i think i'm gonna have just like a mixture of every animal in this area i think this will be big enough for them uh what's that one two three four five like this so this is going to be the main frame for it and then we're going to put some stone brick all the way around so as we're building this guys i guess we can have a little chat about what's been going on lately since the last episode because we didn't get to have a chat in the last episode because we were with zai joking around and all that kind of cool stuff so in the episode before before that I think I was speaking about uh, certain series on the channel and my new second channel and I think in that last episode I mentioned to you guys that I had 17,000 subscribers on my second channel on this day today like as speaking of right now I have 48,000 subscribers on the second channel it is absolutely insane the support on that channel is totally unexpected i did not expect to get that many subscribers that channel has been going for five weeks and we pretty much have 50,000 subscribers that's insane that's like 10,000 a week pretty much it is absolutely crazy and I've just got to thank everybody who's been supporting that channel like if you're not subscribed to it guys go check it out it might be for you it might not be but all the support that people have been showing on that channel recently has been absolutely amazing um and I just I'm I'm blown away to be honest guys that is probably the best way to describe it I'm absolutely blown away I didn't expect um people to enjoy the second channel that much uh as of right now uh on that channel was pretty much just roblox but like i told you guys before that is not what i plan to do on that channel only like obviously i'm gonna 
play some Roblox on there because people want to see me play that because Zai's been playing it quite a lot so other people want, want to see me play it as well but I haven't fully uh, sorted out my schedule yet I've still uh, live streaming on that channel is the main one I've just uploaded my first video the other day it was a Roblox video um, but I uploaded my first video and I plan to do some more videos on there pretty soon um, well, I think I think the next series I'm going to record on that is The Sims because I know that is a hugely requested series that I bring back and especially people on this channel, especially people on my Minecraft channel where I used to upload The Sims quite a lot on this channel. There's a lot of people that really want to see that series. That series was like my second most popular series on this channel here. So a lot of people want to see that. So if that is something you're interested in, guys, I will let you know when I upload it. The safe bet is whoa i whistled when i said s there did you hear that whoa that's so weird the safe bet is probably um next week next week will be when i upload my first sims video i plan to record it this week today's sunday for me so i'm probably going to try and record it tomorrow that's that's the best bet like i'm going to try and record it tomorrow so check the channel next week like the, the second channel check it out um if you really want to see the sim series and when i start recording that series i will i will probably upload it like a couple times a week uh do i have any more slabs yeah i have tons I'll probably start recording that a couple times a week. So that'll probably go up on the second channel like twice a week. So if you like that series and you enjoyed it, it's going to be coming back on the second channel. And this is just going to be my Minecraft channel now. I didn't think I would enjoy having a second channel so much. I don't know what it is about having the second channel. It's just a lot of freedom and it brings back quite a lot of enjoyment to, to doing videos again. Because as you grow on YouTube, you get a lot of people that expect things from your channel and stuff and you have to hold up standards and things like that but when you start afresh like that with a second channel it's kind of refreshing I don't know it kind of brought back a little spark in me I know it sounds a bit weird but it kind of did and, I, and I'm enjoying it I'm, I think that's what I'm trying to get at guys I'm really really enjoying it so we've got a little pen going on right here it's looking pretty good let's uh, get rid of this dirt over here and should be good let's get rid of that Oh, I might add a log in the middle here just to match the one in front. You see that one we got there? So I might add another log right here. I need, I'm going to need that, um, that shovel. So let's add one here. Actually, can I get some dirt quickly? I'm going to need, oh, I don't know what blocks to get rid of. I've got so many blocks in my inventory right now. Um, trying to think what to do because I need to build this up through the roof. So if I stand on this and then build this up right here. We should be good. So let's build this up. I think it's five, isn't it? Yeah, one more like that. And put that on top like that. Yeah, that looks better at the back like that. I prefer that. So let's get rid of that. And we can also get rid of this dirt staircase that we built up there as well. Now, some of you may be wondering what is going on with the torches all the way around. Now, this... Oh, this looks a bit small now, actually. This was like the little pen that I was going to mark out to do. And I, I wanted to get an even shape because it's a lot harder to get a nice even shape when you are not playing in... Um, creative because in creative i can kind of like fly above and get a nice shape going on but it's a lot harder to do that when you're playing in survival because you can't fly up and uh it's just it's just a lot harder so let me uh try and get this nice and even so i brought that out there didn't i uh i've got three there and then two diagonal so let's do do i have three like that and then we add one there one there like this and then i think that just brought it out like that right yeah, so that's, this is pretty much the shape of the pen that I'm going to do. I might bring this out a bit more like that to, to just make it even and then have the gate in the middle there. Yeah, I like that. I like that. It's going to turn nighttime quickly. Hello, my son. What are you doing in my pen over here? Let's do this right there. And we can break these torches. So what I'm basically going to do around here is start placing down the fences. Now, we have a ton of fences. So everywhere there's a torch, there's going to be a fence. So I will like connect them up like this. And we should be good. This, this should be a nice little shape. I want a nice even shape for the pen. In my tutorial when I did this, I said mark it down randomly. But still, when you're flying above, you get a nice overlook of it. And you can see how it looks. Um, but doing it like this is a lot harder to gauge how you want it to be. Look, this, this sheep just wants to live in here, doesn't he? So let's do this around here. I don't want to die. This is the problem. I know it's nighttime. I want to go sleep quickly. Uh, let's just build that around here. 
And I'm just, I'm just, whoa, zombie. Whoa, you sprinted at me. This, this guy, little guy actually just scared me. So let's, I think that's a sign of I need to go sleep quickly. So let's go and uh, have a quick nap in my house over here. And I think the animal pen should look pretty good. So as you guys know, me and Zai are living in this area. And this is not going to be our main house. This is kind of just our starter house. So what I'm doing right here is going to be a nice little starter animal pen. And I think it's going to look pretty good. So let's bring this out right here and then continue continue this on so I've done this in a kind of a weird way placing down the torches first but do it however you want to do it guys have I seriously run out of fences no uh, do it however you want to do it however you can make it even and stuff I think that I think that looks good so it's kind of random but still I wanted it to be even on each side so let's go up because if I was in creative mode right now I'd be able to fly up and take a little look at it yeah that looks good it's still like even each side but still has that kind of random feel so I do like that so what we're going to do next with this we're going to get some uh, logs and we're just going to place them around in certain areas so I'm probably going to place like a log there uh, maybe a log here uh, this doesn't have to be this doesn't have to be even or anything like that Let's place one there and I'm gonna place maybe a log there and there because this is where the gates gonna go So add let's add one like that and then the gate can be right there and let's add some more logs Maybe one there one there uh, One there and one there. I think this should be enough for the log. So let's put the logs around like this uh, there we go like adding logs in like this when you're building stuff like this it just adds so much detail to it like I don't know what it is it just makes it look not plain anymore it would look so plain before but adding just simple logs around and then putting some half slabs on top let's trap this sheep in there because he seems to want to stay in there you walked in there by yourself so you could stay in there and just adding some half slabs around stops them from being able, well, being able to jump out and it just adds a really nice touch to it let's get a half slabs before the sheep jumps out it looks like he's trying to escape now oh now i shut you in with the gate you want to try and escape i see how it is sheep you don't want you don't want me to be your father anymore oh, okay i see what it is i bet some of you are thinking what's he talking about sheep being his children i don't worry guys i'm weird sometimes just let me be weird yeah <laughs> just let me be weird so there we go we've got a nice little pen going on here i was thinking about putting gates at the front there as well but i don't think it's worth it uh we might as well just leave it so what we're going to do now is light this area up because this is it's going to be kind of dark when um when the sun goes down so i did bring myself some glowstone and things like that so i got some podzol i got some coarse dirt and some glowstone some hay bales and some leaves as well and we should just just random this around this area we've got one sheep in here so we're all good um so basically just gonna get your shovel and just go crazy <laughs> I wish it was an efficiency double shovel because it'd be a lot better but you basically just want to dig random holes in the ground and then just texturize the floor you guys have seen me do this a load of times it's such a simple technique to be able to do a lot easier in creative because you could just punch out the floor and it's nice and easy but um just go crazy the blocks are disappearing on here i don't like they're not disappearing sometimes they disappear sometimes they don't it's a weird thing it's like this weird block lag i don't know why it's happening because I don't get any other lag on the server. My, my my connection is, look, it's full. And I don't know why I'm getting this block lag. I, I might be like the new update, the new 1.12 update. It seems to only have happened with that, but it's weird. I'm not sure what's going on. So let's just knock out some more of these. You, you want to kind of have not a lot of grass around you want to you want more dirt and stuff so it looks like a more kind of like weathered animal pen so it like, looks like it's been used and it's muddy and stuff like that it just kind of tells a little bit of a story rather than just being plain and things like that so i think that's looking good maybe some of these blocks around here need to go let's get rid of some look at that look i tried to break that so many times it was just some weird lag is there sheep in there now yeah he is cool chill out in there sheep you can do whatever you want and then let's place some of these around some pods i don't have a lot i only have a stack so i can't go crazy i'm probably going to place the whole stack if i get some brown carpet as well i'll add that i think that adds a nice little touch it's going to be nighttime once again no it's midday there we go so add some of these around as well and yeah we're looking pretty good guys oh no does that give oh it gives me dirt i didn't know that i didn't know if you break pods all it gives you dirt back sheep get out of the hole please you can't stay in there i need to save some for that area over there this is looking good um let's add some coarse dirt around not going to place all the coarse dirt in the remaining spots because sometimes you need to get a nice little balance so um you want to just 
gradually do it and then the spots you've got left over have like have a step back have a look at it and see what other kind of blocks can go there this needs some more like dirt around there you see what i mean like as you do it you can kind of like tell what you need as you're going along but it's so far looking good um yeah so add some more around here yeah definitely need some some more i would say like brown carpet i think this is looking good. I need some bone meal. Oh, that's too much. Let's add another piece of course. Uh, let's add podzo in these two spots right here. Um, yeah, I need some bone meal. Long grass. Well, long grass will do this area really well. So let's add some more podzo right here. So there we go. It's a nice even amount. I've got 18, 14 left. So placed a bit more course that than we did anything else. Let's do this in here as well. Just go crazy with the shovel and just dig all this out. So nice and easy animal pen to build in survival for you guys i know a lot of you watch my tutorials and think that it's in creative mode so it's a lot easier to build but look in survival they're easy to build as well like this hasn't taken long at all this is probably going to take up all all of the blocks now which should be good enough and if i get this block lag is really annoying me i don't know what is going on with this there we go nice and easy yeah pretty cool looking pretty good so now what i'm going to do is put some glowstone in the floor so let's put one there and maybe put one on this side oh. see the block lag the block lag is just annoying me and let's put maybe one here in the middle and i think one here as well the thing is with this i don't want it to be too close like can they jump out oh that might be a bit too close let's just put that around oh that i don't know if i like that I'm not sure if I like that. Okay, so we might need to change this up a little bit. I'm wasting my glowstone, but I do have a lot of it. So what I think I might do with this one, we might do a little bit of a hidden lighting feature over here. So instead of putting the glowstone where we put it, we might put it... I'm stuck in a hole. <laughs> instead of putting the glowstone where we put it, we're going to put it one block further down. And then what I'm thinking is... So let's put the glowstone in there. So we're going to put one there. We're going to put one there. And we're also going to put one there as well. And uh, did I miss one? I feel like I missed one. Oh yeah, this one here. Right, let's put that there. And then we're going to put the leaves there like that. And it doesn't look too bad because it kind of looks like there's some grass, like overgrown grass there. So that doesn't look too bad. And that should light up this area pretty well. I feel like it needs one here as well. So let's put one there as well like that looking pretty good yeah that should light up the area pretty good it's going to be nighttime pretty soon so it's probably just going to um be a good time it does hay bells let light through oh that's going to be interesting let's just put some hay bells there just to make it look a little bit interesting hay bells will look better in this area so maybe if i put like a hay bell like there oh no that, i don't like that yeah let's just, just put three there i don't want to they can jump out from that. Ooh, what are we going to do? Let's just put three like that then. And then maybe... Oh, there, there we go. That looks decent, I guess. Yeah, that'll do. They won't be able to jump out there. We're not blocking off the light, are we? No, that's looking good. So we definitely need some bone mill. I want to bone mill up this area quickly. So let's go in there. I'm just hoping it's going to be enough lighting. That's looking pretty good, actually. I like that. So we should have some bones in our tiny little storage room somewhere i know oh there we go tons of bones right there well not tons just 12 but let's uh turn this into bone meal quickly 36 nice and i should be able to bone meal the rest of the grass double tall grass will probably look better and it should make the leaves blend in a little bit more yeah this is looking good it's looking good i like this i like oh no not flowers we don't want flowers we just want grass we want grass because if we're going to have sheep in here but sheep eat the grass and uh, it helped grow their wool back. So should look pretty good. Uh, not sure about tubble. Tubble? Not sure about the double tall grass. I don't know if I like the double tall grass. Let's just have the single grass in here. Yeah, that's looking good, guys. I like that. I like that. So maybe put some grass in here as well. Just to make it look nice and overgrown. Yeah, this is looking good. So we've got, we've got one sheep in there. So we do need to transfer the sheep over eventually. The sun is going down. I do want to see what the lighting is like. I'm thinking, I didn't want to use many torches, but I'm thinking we might be able to get away with some torches like up here or something. 
Yeah, that doesn't look too... Ooh, maybe on the one below. Maybe on the one below in the middle. Just to make it look nice and even. Because having too many torches is quite ugly sometimes. But adding the few around here and there doesn't look too bad. I like this animal pen, guys. So let's... I'm going to jump up on the roof, actually. Do I have any dirt? Yeah, I have tons of dirt. I'm going to jump up on the roof and actually get an overview look. Because this is what I miss in creative mode. Whenever you're building creative, you can always jump up and have a look. That looks good. I like that. I like that. Maybe could have done with a few more hay bales, but I didn't have any more wheat. But I like it. I think it's looking pretty good. So what I could actually do with this now, I could transfer these animals <laughs> in Zai's little animal pen. We've, we've, we're basically upgrading whatever Zai builds in this series, aren't we? We've built, we upgraded the house to this house, and now we've upgraded her animal pen into this animal pen over here. Sun's going down. It's looking pretty good for lighting right now. I like the lighting. The lighting looks like it's enough. That's one thing I just wanted to wait out and see to see if it was enough for this area. And it looks like it is. Because I don't want any mobs spawning in there and stuff. But the lighting definitely looks like it is enough. I might want to add another torch on the inside over here. Let's go add, oh, maybe one there and one there. Is that too many though? No, that looks good. That looks good. We're looking good. Lighting is looking on point. Now, let me go inside just in case I don't die. But I want to look in my inventory quick. See if I had any more stuff that I wanted to add. I don't think so. I think we're good with the leaves and everything like that. And it's looking pretty good. Oh, there is one thing I wanted to add, actually. I wanted to add... Um, I don't have any cauldrons. Because I wanted to add, like, a water part where, they, where the animals would drink. I could actually make some, actually. Let's have two. I've got two ideas I wanted to do. Because I didn't have any cauldrons. So I was thinking I could do something with... Uh, I not iron, what are they called? Stone brick stairs. Just a little trick you could do with stone brick stairs. But I can make myself a two cauldrons. So let's try both methods out and see what they're like. So let's get two of these quickly. Like that. We're going to throw out the flowers. And I'm going to jump in bed. So it doesn't... Nothing comes out and kills me outside. So I can just do this without dying. And doesn't blow up all my hard work. And let's go back out here. And yeah, so I'm ha really happy with the lighting. I think the lighting looks good. Going to be hard to get the animals through that little gap. But I could probably build a little staircase over. So what I was thinking is what we could do in this little area. I had a little idea, right? So you know where like animals drink? I think it's called like a trough, I think. I'm not sure. My I might be wrong. Um, I wanted to put like it there. That could be like a little trough where the animals drink. That actually looks good. I like that. Just a nice little bit of detail right there. So if I put it like that. It looks like a little trough where the animals would drink. I like that. But we could also we could do both. We could do both, actually. So that would be like where the animals come in and they get a little drink and stuff. But sadly, we can't put water in there because it's only a stair. But what we could do over here, um, let's do it. Let's do it here. What I was thinking we could do here is put two cauldrons down as well. Like I did with the tutorial when I built an animal pen. And I could put a bucket of water in each one. Like that. So they can have some water there. So it's either this is a trough or that's a trough as well. I like this detail though. I think it looks pretty cool. Is there any water nearby that I can go and grab? Oh, there's a pond right at the front of my house, isn't there? Yeah, let's go grab that quickly. Looking pretty good, guys. I'm happy with this. Happy with this. I'm very, very happy with this. Um, let's go grab that last piece of water and put it in the cauldron. Boom, like that pretty good indeed so what we need to do now i'm probably not going to do this on camera but it's going to i'm going to build something real ugly i am going to build a little kind of pathway so we can get these animals inside of this pen so let's let's just break this so we've got that and i want to so probably too wide would be best let's do this and this is just basically going to guide them into the I might be able to just break it and they work their way in there, but let's try it out Let's try it out like this. I, I need do I have wheat? I don't have any wheat. I have seeds So that should let me Put or oh, what do I need to do here? Gonna, no, because I need to be able to jump in don't they so if I put that there and then put some of this around as well So they can't jump out so that should be good. They should be able to go in. Let's test it out quickly. I might as well test it out before I end the episode. Just grab myself some wheat. See if they're going to be able to go in there. I've got some wheat here. Let's put the seeds in there. There we go. And we can break this. So looking real ugly right now. But we should be able to do this. Let's grab this. Let's grab the wheat. Look at my inventory. Such a mess. And if we break this. Um, I don't want to hit the cow. 
you guys gonna follow me? Oh, looking promising. Looking promising. Come on, guys. Jump right in. Well, that was a lot easier than what I thought. These guys are gonna ignore me now, though, aren't they? Oh, no, that sheep. Sheep seems interested. Are you interested? Yep, come on. They lose interest so fast. Let's go back out around here and see if we can gather the rest of these guys. You gonna follow me? Oh, I should have just stayed up here. Would have would have been a lot easier. Come on, guys. Go on, jump in. Come on. You know you want to join the party. Jump over. Well, there's one cow left. I don't want you. I don't want them to jump back though. This is the problem. We've got one cow left. I think sh uh, pigs need. No, no, no. You guys stay there. Is this cow not interested? I think pigs need carrots, don't they? Yeah, but guys, like I said, the, the animal part is going to be real tedious and I'm not going to sit here all day doing it. Oh, cow, cow came over. Nice. Come on, you perfect. So let's um, block that off for now so the pigs can't get over. I'll do the pigs myself a little bit later on. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be real tedious getting them over. But you get the idea. We've got all the animals in the animal pen and it's looking pretty good. But guys, before I end the episode, just want to say a big, big thank you once again to all the support on my second channel. We are nearly at 50,000 subscribers in five weeks absolutely insane i didn't even do that on this channel this channel was like my main channel and i didn't even get 50 000 subscribers in five weeks on this channel so thank you so much if you are over on that channel and you are subscribed to that channel i really appreciate you guys it is absolutely awesome and thank you so much for supporting my videos over there as well but guys i'm gonna end the episode here thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed today's episode and i will see you again in another episode on the chaos craft server